Transfer of training is more likely to occur when the trainee works on tasks during training, like knowledge, equipment, or processes that are very similar, if not identical, to the work environment known as near transfer. Transfer of training is more difficult when tasks during training are different from the work environment known as far transfer. The tasks that are used during training relate to training objectives. Closed skills refer to training objectives that are linked to learning specific skills that are to be identically produced on the job. There is only one correct way to complete a task if it requires closed skills. In contrast, open skills are linked to more general learning principles. With open skills, there's not a single correct way to perform and the learner is given some general principles to follow. Open skills are more difficult to train than closed skills because they require the trainee to not only acquire and recall general principles, but to also consider how they can be adopted and used to fit a wide range of circumstances. Three theories of transfer of training have implications for training design, the learning environment, the theory of identical elements, the stimulus generalization approach, and the cognitive theory of transfer. The theory of identical elements proposes that transfer of training occurs when what is being learned in the training session is identical to what the trainee has to perform on the job. The stimulus generalization approach suggests that the way to understand the transfer of training issue is to construct training so that the most important features or general principles are emphasized. FAR transfer refers to the trainee's ability to apply learned capabilities to the work environment even though the work environment, like equipment, problems, and tasks, is not identical to that of the training session. The stimulus generalization approach can be seen in the design of some skill training programs which are based on social learning theory. Recall from a discussion of social learning theory that modeling, practice, feedback, and reinforcement play key roles in learning. One step in developing effective interpersonal skills training programs, as an example, is to identify key behaviors that are needed to be successful in a situation. Key behaviors refer to behaviors that can be used successfully in a wide variety of situations. The model demonstrates these key behaviors in a video and trainees have opportunities to practice them. The key behaviors are believed to be applicable to a wide variety of situations. In fact, the practice session in this type of training requires the trainee to use the behaviors in a variety of situations that are not identical. The cognitive theory of transfer is based on the information process theory of learning. According to cognitive theory of transfer, the likelihood of transfer depends on the trainee's ability to retrieve learned capacities. This theory suggests that the likelihood of transfer is increased by providing trainees with meaningful material that enhances the chances that they will link what they encounter in the work environment to a learned capacity. Also important is providing the trainee with cognitive strategies for coding the learned capabilities in memory so that they're easily retrievable. The influence of cognitive theory is seen in training design that encourages trainees as a part of the program to consider potential applications of training content to their jobs. Many training programs include having trainees identify a work problem or situation and discuss the potential application of the training content. 